Please welcome the President and CEO of Christian Dior, Sidney Toledano. <laughs> Dear Jan, dear Stephen, it's a big privilege for me to be here tonight for this ceremony, honoring Ralph Simon's work at Dior. And I want to thank and congratulate Ralph for the great job he did at Dior in only two years. You know, attending this ceremony now, I was just coming here and thinking myself, a lot of things have happened in two years. I've been with the company for many years now, and you know, the fashion world is, is such that you never expect what is going to happen tomorrow. And thanks to Raf and the work he did, on the design, understanding the roots of the company, what we call the codes. But you know, it's like a tree. He did the, he identified the roots, but he hollowed the, the flowers to grow again. Raf is like a gardener. He was looking for growing. And thanks to him, the company now is having the respect of what Mr. Dior did, but also seeing the future, the modernity. And I want to thank you also, the CFDA. I want to thank all the American press, the retailers, the clients, who have been supporting Dior for more than 66, 67 years. This is the country where Mr. Dior started, we see the country where fashion means something. You know, we, we good about luxury, but the real fashion country is here. And I'm sure Raf is so happy to be among you. To illustrate the work of Dior, of, of uh, Raf at Dior, I want to show you a short movie, how he has been interpreting the, the bar jacket, the famous one, that Mr. Dior showed for the first time in February 1947, and how Raf has been interpreting his bar jackets. I want to introduce now a friend of the house and the so talented French actress, Marion Cotillard. <laughs> very happy to be here tonight to present this next award to Raf Simmons. Um, it takes an incredible amount of talent to continually rewrite the rich story of Christian Dior, an inspiring and beloved atelier. To witness the coming together of this iconic house, which has always been known for its quintessential creative vision, with a designer who is a true artist, has been very special. Raph's inspirations come from his love of art, his love of architecture, his very strong connection to this world, and his infinite curiosity. The environment of creativity that he lives in makes his work super modern to the extent that he is a unique kind of architect. The feeling we have when we see his work is nothing short of magic. I feel very lucky to know you, and it's my great pleasure to present you with this international award. CFDA, why did I, I was gone. CFDA International Award. <laughs>
evening. Last week we had the LVMH Prize and we were with quite a bunch of designers together in a room. And one of, one of the candidates was saying, I feel my heartbeat in my ears. She's actually here tonight. I feel it in my thigh now. <laughs> so this is a, a very beautiful moment for me and for all of us at Dior. Dear Marion, I thank you so much for your beautiful words. You have embraced our work with so much grace. I'm a huge fan of you and your work, and it's an honor to have you here. Sydney, how can I thank you enough in this short time that I have? It is, um, I would not be standing here without you, that's for sure. Thank you for your guidance, for your support, for your amazing dialogue that we have every day. It's a dream for a designer to work with somebody like you. I thank Bernard Arnault for believing in me and for entrusting me with the future of the house, Dior. I thank the CFDA, Diane and Stephen, and everybody who decided I was worthy of it. And all of you in the industry who have helped me and supported me along the way. A big thank you to my lovely teams in Paris and in Antwerp, and a huge thank you to the wonderful ateliers of Dior. The list is way too long to to mention everyone by name, but you're all here tonight in my heart. <clears throat> I thank Delphine Arnaud. I thank Olivier and Pierre for supporting me and treating me like a brother. And I would beg you to give me less interviews from now on, but <laughs> um, a very warm thank you to my family and my friends, Bianca, Olivier, Willy, Susie, Didier, Chris, Remor, Sterling, Mark, Ross. Without you, I could never do this. And my biggest thank you. Go to the man that has been still. The biggest thank you go to the man that has been standing by my side for more than 15 years designing together with me. He's here tonight, dear Peter. I don't know where you are. Thank you so much for your endless support and for your vision, for your energy and for the friendship. I think, thank you. touched, I have to say, which was clearly visible on stage, I think. I thought I'm going to keep myself strong, but I got quite emotional. This has a huge impact on me.